there seem to be some questions about Derek's current line of work and his personal investigations that he does. You know, the prosecution um, shared some of those concerns. What do you know about what he does right now? Well, I just know he does uh, basically online investigations and background checks on people. I wasn't really aware of uh, the allegations that the government made. I mean, essentially what this case is about to me is uh, the uh, sort of online protest against the Steubenville rape in December 2012. Yeah, this is basically a four-year-old case, and the government hasn't made any uh, any charges, formal charges, about any activity between December 2012 and now. Uh, as a matter of fact, the person who admitted to doing these hacks that uh, you know uh, Mr. Lostad is alleged to have participated in took a plea deal with the government for a misdemeanor, and he's looking at multiple felony counts, and I, I think that's a, a bit odd. So you're saying that in, in the stuff that you've sent before today you basically said that, that uh, the co-conspirator the alleged co-conspirator was the one that was doing everything but according to their indictment it says that Lostutter instructed the co-conspirator to do certain things to access the website and gave him codes and, and that sort of thing um, how, how do you respond to that? Well, I think if you look at the uh, plea uh, document from Noah McGew, just Bat Cat, uh, it lays out pretty clearly that he was the one who did this hack. And he also publicly took credit for it in, I believe, February of 2013. Uh, he spent a lot of time on Twitter uh, admitting to doing it, taking credit for it. Um, I think the government's plea agreement, which you can just pull off the docket, uh, pretty much he admits to having done this. You know, and I'm sure they're planning on putting Mr. McGee on the stand uh, in this case. So, you know, the government will put forth their theory and their evidence on that and it'll be tested in the court.